Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Vesbier back at it again with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for Warzone. And yes guys, I'm going to be going through all the details on the PC of what my settings are and what you guys should be using. So let's just get right to it. Just before we get started here going into my Warzone settings and whatnot and showing you guys everything, let's just go onto our PC desktop and do a few things first to optimize the settings and to make things better. So guys, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, just right click the screen and click NVIDIA control panel. If you have AMD, I'm sorry, I don't really know the settings for that. However, you could go on a different video to see the AMD best settings for your graphics card. Um, whether you have an RX or whatever kind of series of the AMD graphics card you have. I myself have an RTX 2080 Super. So just right click your screen if you have a NVIDIA graphics card and just click control panel. And mine is right here. You want to click adjust image settings with preview and go to use my, use my preference emphasizing performance. Which you should have yours here balanced or up here just drag it to the far left which is performance and make sure this one is checked and if you guys haven't used this before it should be on let the 3d application decide or use the advanced 3d image settings whatever it may be just click use my pre preference emphasizing and click performance and then click apply and that should be it for that for you guys um, also another thing if you right click or go onto your windows and type in game mode there should be something called game mode if yours is turned on that is not good so be sure to turn it off as your windows pc tries to optimize your gaming experience for you when nvidia is already doing that so if you have this on it kind of overrides it and it kind of messes with your nvidia or rx whatever or amd graphics card whatever it may be you're using so make sure you just have that turned off and that will help you guys out a lot i promise you so now guys, let's just hop on Modern Warfare and I'll show you guys the settings. All right guys, let's go into options here and we're gonna go to graphics. And you're gonna wanna have full screen on. If you don't have full screen on, sometimes it'll um, reset. Actually look at that, it just did. My render resolution got dropped to 66. If you guys play on PC, sometimes you'll notice on your first game on of the day, first time launching it and playing, It'll drop your resolution to the bottom. I don't know why that is, but if it does, just make sure you put it to 100, which is 1920 by 1080p, which is by far the best um, render resolution. If you go higher than that, that's good, but you make sure you have a monitor that actually does um, supply or that does provide 4K resolution. Mine does, however, I like it on 1080p because my refresh rate drops if I put it to 4K. And on 1080p, I have a 165 hertz rate, so I'm going to keep that as is but to start off with everything make sure your display mode is on full screen if you have it on windowed full screen borderless or whatever the other options are don't be using those as it will slightly decrease your frame rate so make sure you just have full screen on and enabled your display monitor make sure it's your gaming monitor and for your display adapter make sure it's your graphics card um, screen refresh rate make sure you have the max for refresh rate that you're using which mine is 165 which is pretty decent for my monitor um, if you have 240 hertz you know put it up to the highest you can most people on pc generally have 144 so just click it on that but mine over overclocks to 165 which is awesome and yeah so there's that render re render resolution like i said 100 um if you click advanced, just keep it on 1920 by 1080p display resolution. Aspect ratio, aspect ratio automatic, which means the width and length of your screen. If you're on a wide screen, you might want to change this to like 32 by 9, depending on how wide your screen is. Mine's just a regular screen, so I have it basically 16, 16 by 9, but I just keep it on automatic because you don't need to fiddle around with that. Sync every frame, keep it on disabled. Please, 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 because this is not um, essential for your gaming experience. I promise you guys, sync every frame ruins it. Um, as you can see here, when you have it on enabled, it limits your frame rate to match your monitor's refresh rate, which is not too bad. However, however enabling this prevents screen tearing issues, but causes some input lag, which it pretty much tells you to go screw yourself. So don't have this on, have it on disabled, or just get out of here, just leave because I'm not going to help you out anymore, because this is one thing that a lot of people have on, which it ruins 
a lot of gaming experience. So make sure you have it disabled, please and thank you. This is like the one setting that you need to make sure you have it disabled. Custom frame limit, I have it on unlimited. Everything's just unlimited, which doesn't matter. You can change that the way you want it. You could literally have it on custom, which some people do, and put it to whatever the max refresh rate is on your monitor. So if yours is 144, put all of these to 144. However, I just keep it unlimited. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It won't even show those frames on the screen. I just like having that fast speed um, frames per second. NVIDIA highlights, that's your choice to have it enabled or disabled. Display jump, gamma, 2.2, uh, sRGB. The other one is, I think, for TVs, so just have 2.2 on. Texture, res texture resolution, I have low. Texture filter anisotropic, I have low as well. You could put these on medium as well. It won't really affect it, only by a smidge. However, I keep them on low to have um, the 165 frame per second and higher so it doesn't drop at all. Particle quality, have it on high. Apparently on low, it actually makes your frames worse because it has a, a harder time loading the crappier frames than the better. Somehow, I'm not too sure how that is, but it has to generate more pixelated than non-pixelated, if that makes sense. I don't know how to really explain it here, but having it on high is much better. Um, bullet impact, you can have it enabled or disabled. It won't do anything. Um, tessellation, I have mine disabled. Streaming quality, I have it on normal. Shadow map resolution, I have it on low. Cache spot shadows disabled and cache sun's shadows disabled. I keep these off for war zone purposes when I'm trying to see from the distance. The shadows kind of get in the way. So having most of your shadows off and the resolution of them to the lowest is probably the best for war zone. Particle lighting I have on low. Direct X ray tracing, make sure you have it disabled because that will take up a lot of VRAM. It um, doesn't really show here, however, in game it does take up a lot of VRAM, so don't use that. Ambient occlusion, disabled. Screen space reflection, SSR basically, yes, disabled. Anti-aliasing, this is by preference, but I like the Filmic SM8AA2T2X. That was so hard to say, but this is my favorite as the distance. It's so, so much easier to see, as you can see here. It looks much better than having it on the lowest, so this here is the lowest, this here is the highest. It goes by your preference. However, you will lose frames if you increase it. However, I have a pretty good um, graphics card in which I keep it on the highest. Depth of field, make sure you have it disabled. As you can see here, it's just not that great. It's not useful at all. Filmic strength, make sure you have it to the max. World motion blur and weapon motion blur, just turn those off unless you want them on. But that just ruins your gaming experience. And your film grain, put it to zero. As you can tell here, you obviously want it the lowest because why would you want some staticky looking stuff? It's just not it. In my general settings, my mouse sensitivity is at 10 and my DPS is 1600. It's by preference only. I'm just giving you guys that in case you want to use something else or trying to figure out what DPS and what mouse sensitivity you have or want. That's mine. Um, audio, I have it on boost high with master volume at around 30. I like 30.89, that's just really specific, I don't know why, you could just have it at 30, whatever you want. And then I have my effects volume at 100, and the other two you could just change by preference. And that's pretty much it guys, those are my settings for Modern Warfare um, Warzone on the PC. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, I hope this helped out as well. There's a lot of people that have made videos on this, but these are the best by far settings that you can have on Warzone for Season 5, going into Season 6 and the future of the game. So you guys, it's your boy Vesby. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's your boy Vesby, and I'm out. Peace.